it isn't just what you say, the words you use that affect the way your message comes across when you give a presentation. How you look will also have an effect on the audience and an effect on your message. A really common question before people give a presentation is, what should I wear? Well, there's no real easy answer to that. It depends on the nature of the audience you're talking to, what they'll be dressed in, and also the kind of mood and tone that you're trying to set in your talk. Take this video, for example. It's not a formal instructional, you must do this kind of presentation. I want it to be relaxed and conversational, so I dress quite casually. I could have dressed like this, or I could have worn this. I could even have dressed like this. And any one of those outfits would have had a different effect on your perception of what I have to say. And at least one of them would have led you to question exactly what I'm saying. So think about the clothes that you're going to wear and how they relate to the audience. As I say, there are no hard and fast rules, but there are some tips. In a formal setting, it's usually a good idea to dress a little bit smarter than your audience. And generally, you don't want things that cover your face, so never wear sunglasses, try and keep your hair away from your eyes. Some people like to move around when they talk. If you're one of those people, make sure your shoes aren't gonna have hard soles and make a clip clapping sound on the stage as you move about. So we can think about the clothes that we wear and the effect that they have on our presentation, but we also need to consider our own body language. What are the messages that we're sending out when we speak? And are those messages coherent with what we're saying? Sometimes you might have to give the same presentation lots of times, and it's quite easy to get a bit bored with what's happening. But you mustn't let that show in the way that you stand. So if I stand like this, I look like I'm excited, engaged in what I'm talking about. If I look like this, I sound like I'm really excited and engaged in what I'm talking about. Clearly those things don't match. So we need to keep it fresh and pay special attention to what we're doing. Something else that your body language will reveal is nerves. And if you're somebody who gets quite self-conscious and nervous about giving a presentation, it's really worth spending a bit of time thinking about how you're going to use your body to communicate to the audience. And we know what people look like when they're confident. We know what those kinds of people do and how they stand. So let's just do that. And we can just imitate them. And if we do that, the audience will think, oh, he looks like he knows what he's talking about. And you'll see that in the audience and think, they think I know what I'm talking about. Maybe I do. We get this positive cycle of action there. So there are a few tips to remember for confidence. Confident speakers stand up straight. They make eye contact with the audience. And they tend to have an open posture. If you keep your hands above your waist, that apparently is a sign of confidence too. But remember, we can play around with these things. It might be that in some parts of your talk, you deliberately want to break that and lower your own status a little bit. Maybe you try to refer to somebody else. Think about movement too. Some people really like to strut and stride about the stage. Others are kind of fixed rooted behind the lectern. Both of those things can work, but equally both of them can be really quite distracting. This is about contrast. If you're going to have stillness, use it to good effect to reinforce your message. If you're going to move, then move with purpose. Uh, for example, if I'm talking about two different things, I want to compare them. I might describe thing A over here and talk about its nature and its character and then compare it to thing B, which is over here. I've moved with some purpose. And the same with gesticulation too. I move my hands around quite a lot when I'm speaking. There are lots of photos of me caught like this. But is it doing something? Are we adding emphasis and import to the things that we're saying with our gesticulations? Then good. If we're just flapping around for no reason, bad. Remember that if we try to emphasise every single thing, we end up emphasising nothing at all. And if you're going to do a movement like that, be careful too. Pointing at audiences can seem quite rude. So if you want to point something out, maybe it's up there or over there. As with everything that we do, when we're giving a presentation, 
in public. It's a choice. We're going to choose what we say. We're going to choose what we wear. We're going to choose how we stand and how we move on the stage. And when you practice your talk, you are going to practice. When you practice your talk, practice that too. Think about how you're going to stand and how you're going to move and how you're going to reinforce your message by using the unspoken things that you bring to the presentation.